Welcome. Um, yeah, so, so my job is to welcome you here and then hand you over to people that you find far more interesting. Um, so the first thing I want to mention is I want to say a special thank you to our sponsors. Dimension Data for providing us with the location as they have done for the last couple of years, although we're getting pretty full. Oh, I'm hearing audio. Thank you. Um, now it's weird. So I see that this auditorium is incredibly full. In fact, it's so full that we have two tracks this year. On that, track two. This is track one. Everything you want to see in track one will be in this room. Track two is all the way down the hall, all the way left, back corner. It's the Clifton Room, I believe it's called. Somebody here who can correct me? Clifton? Yeah. So that's where track two will be. Um, it's a uh, list of talks and which track they're in on the website. Um, it is incredibly difficult to read on your phone. Nobody checked before today what it looked like on a telephone. So unfortunately, I'll take the blame for that, primarily because the guy who actually wrote the code isn't here. Um, but it doesn't matter because things may change around. Uh, this room is substantially larger than that room is, so if talks in that room get over full, we may end up pulling them into this room. Uh, so chaos will ensue today. We ask for your cooperation and your patience. Um, I want to thank Maya Monero, who are unfortunately not with us today, uh, for these wonderful badges. I'll get onto the badges just now. Um, Offers in, also one of our sponsors, they are all wearing these wonderful shirts with the purple wizard on them. And they'll be standing outside, right outside here, and they're handing out t-shirts as they do at most conferences. Make sure that you get your t-shirt. Um, MTN, who have a stand set up in the back. I'm sure you guys saw it while you were standing in line. And trying to make you guys uh, interested in them because they're hiring. In case you're wondering, MTN's hiring if you're looking. Uh, Telspace. Um, Telspace will be running around with, if you wouldn't mind standing up, with shirts that look like that. If you find a Telspace person, please ask to take a selfie with them. And if you post it with a hashtag, they'll give you all the details on that. That is actually going, the, they're going to be giving you a t-shirt for that, and they're also going to be donating some money to uh, the South African Association for Depression Anxiety Group. Um, and then Enclose, who are hiding somewhere. There we go. Enclose is running particularly strange and unusual in that you guys don't just get to hack a box that's lying there waiting for you. They're going to be watching. So it'd be a red team, blue team event. Possible. So those of you who are going to be doing the CTF, um, go through to the CTF room. There's signage up there. It's next door to track two. And they will be doing, well, they'll be handing out some pre-registration stuff for you so that you can actually get connected to the network to start hacking it. Um, Please make use of the dustbins. Um, yes, you should have all received one food token and one coffee token. I don't know if everybody's used their coffee tokens yet. If not, coffee is around the corner here, and if you have already seen it, then great. Uh, they will be serving coffee all day. Uh, if you've used your token, they will take cash, and they will also take zapper. And if you haven't used Zapper yet, apparently you'll get a basically a free coffee if you install the app because you get 25 Rand uh, given to you for installing it. No Bitcoin. No. Nobody, nobody, nobody's uh, giving out Bitcoin at the moment, right? Um, photographs. We have a photographer here today. There she is in the back. If you do not wish to be photographed, that's fine. Find Cindy, who is here. She will be at registration where you guys came in, and she will hand out stickers. You put those stickers onto your shirts, and we will know where it's visible, and then we will make sure that if either there will be no pictures taken, or if there are pictures taken, that your faces are blurred, or that those pictures are never used. Uh, what else? Parking. Did anybody park downstairs underneath the building? If you manage to get in, which is possible because they have opened it up for us now then just be aware that you need to get you need to get your uh tickets stamped parking tickets stamped cindy at registration will have the parking stamp as well when you came in if you when you push the button did it not give you a ticket <laughs> oh 
Alternatively, you can do what Andrew Mack did, and you can just social engineer your way into and out of a parking garage. <laughs> getting your car back. They let you in, they don't let you out. Um, if you have trouble getting your car out, let me know. We'll figure it out. Um, yes, hashtag for today is hashtag B-side CPT. If you want to tweet about stuff that's going on here. Um, CPT, not CT, because that's Connecticut. Unfortunately, we were not before them. Um, and that's it. Have I not mentioned something that I should have? Wait, two things. Uh, prize giving afterwards. There are prizes. There are lots of things today that there will be prizes given out for. There are prizes for the capture of the flag, and there are badge challenges. Those of you who have ordered badges, there are badge challenges that will have prizes associated with them as well. You will be required to do all kinds of weird things. Mike will talk you through some of that when he gets up here now. Um, the other thing I need to mention is the rite of passage. If you don't know what the rite of passage is, you'll find out all about it later today during closing ceremonies. But one of our volunteers, so somebody wearing a teal shirt, will hopefully end up going to DEF CON next year with us, which would be kind of cool for them. And most of you have, or some of you contribute to the rite of passage by buying badges or by buying, uh, contributing with just a sponsorship. or a, And this person's getting sponsorship from a bunch of our sponsors, community members who've been involved. Um, but there was one other thing I needed to ask, say. I guess if I remember it later, I will interrupt a speaker and tell you. If there are any questions, uh, find someone in a red shirt. That was the thing I need to remind her. We have a code of conduct, people. There are a bunch of adults in this room. Hands up if you're not an adult. Everybody else, keep an eye on those people. If they do dumbass things, find a red shirt and have that red shirt escort them out or to me to be spoken to. The code of conduct is up on the website. Basically, it says don't be an ass. Don't, don't do stupid things. Don't be nasty to people. Um, if you feel that you need to read the code of conduct, please go and do so. If you feel that you're going to misbehave, come speak to me, and I'll help you understand why that's a bad idea. Basically, today is about having fun. We've got a bunch of good speakers that are going to be talking about some very cool things. There are a bunch of activities going on. Please get involved in everything. You will get the most out of B-sides if you're most involved. With that, I'm going to hand over to Mike. Up here, Mike. One, one last thing. There, there is Wi-Fi. There is Wi-Fi here besides Cape Town. It's open. Don't do anything special over it because it is open. It's probably going to be used a lot for the CTF. Is Mike on it? Maybe don't use the Wi-Fi. Mike, is that good? Okay. Some, some, for some reason, this year they let me do the badges again. Last year with Andrew Mack was lots of fun. And uh, so anyway, so this year we built uh, these lovely badges. Uh, we actually thought we'd double down and built two badges, which made it extra interesting. So this is the one badge, and the other badge uh, you'll see later. Um, but uh, so it's a, according to the theme of the, the conference, this is a flux capacitor. So um, if you can run around at 88 miles an hour, you go back in time. Okay. So um, so who am I? I'm Mike Davis, Elastic Ninja, all those things. Um, second best, my <laughs> shifty Mike's down there. He's better than me at all these things. Uh, so I've been doing the badge make badge thing for two and a half years, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, 
We've got a lot of angry badgers who helped me out with this, uh, especially Christo. Where is he? Over there. Uh, they help, helped out with this. They've basically been soldering for a week or two weeks, I don't know how long, and had no sleep for this. So appreciate it to them. Uh, the B-Side volunteers, also, they're in those uh, green shirts, and they've also been helping out a lot. So thanks to them as well. Um, so this guy's been causing me a lot of trouble. Uh, he took all the prizes. Well, not all of them. First and second prize from NTN, and he put it in this. Okay. And uh, so you guys have to help me out to, to get it out because he's locked it in there with some plutonium and stuff. That's the other badge that we've made. And uh, one of the challenges is to use that badge to unlock the uh, the case there. Um, there's also a bit of uh, there's some other stuff that you can have a look at. But basically, uh, come to the badge room when you've got time and have a bit of fun. Okay. Uh, Dale is the guy over there. He actually wrote the firmware for the badge, so he's got some other things he'd like you to do. Uh, I believe he wants you to make a pretty pattern with the, um, the LED. So best pattern wins third prize. Okay. So there we go. And he's the judge. <laughs> so buy him coffee and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, but the, the basic idea behind the badges is to learn a little bit about hardware hacking, uh, to have a bit of fun. And uh, so come into the bedroom and talk to us if you want. And yeah. uh, I think the other detail is that you had to buy a badge. So there was a specific badge ticket. Um, so bring your QR code from Cricket and scan it and make sure you're not cheating and all that. Because this is the hacking conference. So, um, and uh, then you get your badge. Okay. Cool. So. There is, there is signage up, but the Badge Life room is a very big glass bowl that everyone can see. There'll be a bunch of green shirts in there still soldering badges. Badges are still being assembled, so be patient with Mike while you get your badge. Um, uh, yes, in the CTF room, I did mention where that is, right? It's also signed. It's right behind the Badge room. So if you go around the Badge Life, between the Badge Life room and Seat Track 2, you'll find the CTF. Go check them out. Cool. That's it. First speaker, Ross. Uh, those of you going to track two is, well, in that direction. I'll be heading over that way myself now. 